Hello, my beautiful friends. Hope you're doing amazing. Today, we're going to be getting ready together, using some new makeup, just chatting, if that's something you'd be interested in. Hi, if you're new here, my name is Audrey. Thank you so much for being here. Please consider subscribing down below before you leave. We talk about makeup over here. I'm just a mom who loves makeup, and that's what we do. And if you're returning, hi, hello, welcome. I love and appreciate you. And if you're interested in any of the makeup that I talk about or anything I put on my face, everything is always linked down in the description box. Some of those links are affiliated links. And thank you so much if you choose to shop through them. Okay, let's get started. Hello. Hello, friends. I have not talked to you in a really long time. <laughs> um, yeah, we're going to chat about it. And I want to tell you guys some stuff that happened. I went to a YouTube creator event. I cannot wait to tell you guys about that. And I'm working on my background. It's it's being updated. I'm going to make it more fall. And I just love this time of year. I love it. Cozy sweatshirts, pumpkin spice, everything. So these are my little pumpkins. And there's going to be new additions coming in the mail periodically. So, <laughs> okay. I did already do my brows. I used the new Merit um, eyebrow pencil and then their new, they came out with new colors of their brow 1980. Um, the brow 1990, I got in dark brown and this is, I really like it. I really like it for fast. It's got a very teensy, teensy, tiny little tip, which is not my favorite. I usually prefer more of like an angled tip. Um, and I don't need that tiny precision, but it is really good for fast and easy, awesome to throw in your merit bag, which is where this goes. So, but I've been testing it out. Dark brown, I got dark brown in both. And then, I mean, the brown 1980, I just love so very much. I wonder if dark brown in the 1980 is a little bit too dark for me. So I might, when I repurchase it, because I've repurchased this like three times, I might get the just regular brown color if it's not too warm. But anyways, colored in the brows a little bit. I don't have to do anything too intense. And yeah, okay. I was going to go in with my Merit Great Skin Priming Moisturizer, um, which I've been really enjoying. I've been testing it out and it's not... I got somebody that asked on my short that I did. I posted some shorts. Those are coming. Those are so fun and just easy to do with my crazy hectic life. Um, it's a primer. It's a priming moisturizer. I just think it doesn't give as much moisture to the face as a moisturizer. However, I have not used it yet with my Merit Great Serum. Um, so I need to do that. <laughs> I need to see how it works with the Great Serum. I feel like that would be more of a hydrating base, but by itself, it's just a really good kind of smoothing hydrating primer not anything super like hydrate your face intense right not like a moisturizer or like a spray so okay but i was going to use that but we're not going to use that because i'm low-key kind of <laughs> i'm kind of scared of this foundation i'm going to use so i picked up i have so much new makeup that i need to try with you guys it just keep it just keeps growing on my desk and then i just need to film and it's hard for me to sit down it just it just is. <laughs> so I picked up the Patrick Ta Major Skin Hydro Lux Luminous Skin Perfecting Foundation. Wow. I got mine in the shade Neutral 6, which is pretty like deep down the scale for me. I don't know how like number wise, usually I'm closer to the beginning. So I don't know how this is going to match. We're going to see. I mean, it looks like it might match okay. So, but I've heard mixed reviews on this this is so this will be a first impression for me but i have seen reviews and it's like you love it or you hate it and it's water-based i think so it, it like matters what primer you use with it and so i'm nervous i'm nervous i don't know how it's gonna go and that means unless it's like amazing i don't know if i'm gonna use it very much because if i don't know if a primer is gonna work with it like I'm not a I'm not a chemist. I don't know my water based primers versus I guess you know they are like actually you know silicone primers. I'm not gonna use one like that that it is obviously silicone, but I just I don't know. So we're gonna put this on <laughs> neutral six. <laughs> 
everybody's home today. It's Saturday. So if you hear anybody, that's what's up. That was the door. So, oh, I mean, that's neutral six. I'm going to dot this on the face. I should have just done one side. Oh, well. Oh, well. Two pumps like I normally do. Um, I just put on a little bit of my Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. I realized I've had it for a really long time, and I don't want it to go bad because it's way expensive, but I, I probably won't be repurchasing that. I love my Florisys moisturizer, the like peach one. It's it's so much better. <laughs> it's so much better than a magic cream. I just love it so much. This is like a really good color match for me, I think. It's pretty neutral. Dang. Okay, so while I'm applying this, um, I'm sorry, I've been MIA. <laughs> I could sit here and apologize to you forever. I I feel really bad. <laughs> um, and I think about you guys a lot, and I'm just I'm sorry. I'm sorry I've been gone. I miss you guys. I appreciate your patience. I appreciate every single one of you that decided to come back and click on this video and watch this one, even though I've been gone for so long. You're the best. Um, so I am, what am I, 17 weeks? 17 weeks pregnant with baby number six. Hey, okay, all right. Um, sorry, talking about the foundation. Looking at myself in the mirror, talking to myself. <laughs> um, Baby number six, 17 weeks. So I'm almost halfway. Isn't that crazy? It feels like just yesterday I told you guys I was pregnant. <laughs> it goes so fast with, I mean, every pregnancy feels like it goes a little bit faster because, man, you just, my other five kids, you know, they keep me busy. <laughs> um, and it's just, it's crazy. It's crazy around here. September is everything starts up again. I'm homeschooling and teaching dance once a week. My daughter dances twice a week. My son is in karate twice a week. Um, and then, you know, everything else you got to keep up with as a mom. Um, I feel like, and then, you know, when I'm pregnant, I was trying to think of how to explain it. And I just think, like, I wake up in the morning and, um, I'm like, instead of being at 100%, which is like where you are when you're not pregnant, or when I'm not pregnant, excuse me, <laughs> um, instead of being 100%, I wake up at like 85, right? So I'm at 85% as soon as I wake up because the other um, math, 15% um, <laughs> of my body is making a baby, right? So I'm already tired as soon as I wake up. I'm just tired all the time. And then... My kids, they use up maybe 50%, maybe more than that, maybe 65, 70%. Um, because like I got to homeschool and um, take them to all their things and make food and, you know, all the, the constant questions and the, the life of having five children. So all of the normal things. Um, but they take up most of it. And then, you know, the last, last 10, 15% is for everything else. <laughs> so that was why, um, YouTube just kind of gets pushed back on the back burner. And I am, I am very sorry. And I apologize. And I really, really love you guys. And I love doing this, but I mean, it's a lot. It's a lot. If all I did was record all day and I could afford to have an editor, I would record way more. <laughs> but I am recording and editing and thumbnails and uploading and all the things, and it's a lot. So it's worth it and the best thing ever. And I love it so much, but it's a lot with everything else. You know, I just have a very full plate. <laughs> um, but that brings me to, oh my gosh. Um, so I went to a YouTube collective creator collective event and um it was in the capital state of idaho which is boise and i'm like two-ish hours away from boise um but i guess that was the criteria okay so i got invited to this event i was super excited but the closer it got the more i was like mm. <laughs> um just the more 
this happens with everything with me too. I just like <laughs> the closer it gets, the more anxious I feel. And the, um, I almost didn't go. I was this close to not going. Um, and so, okay. So my mom actually lives, um, pretty close to Boise. And so, uh, we decided to make it a trip. And, um, my, the day of this creator event, my husband took all of our kids and my mother, um, they all went to the fair that happened to be going on in Boise while I went to this creator event and, oh my goodness, I got there and I was literally sitting outside of the event. It was at a gorgeous restaurant. And I was sitting outside the event and I was telling my husband, yeah, I can't go. I'm like, I'm, I'm out. I can't do it. I seriously, it was really hard for me to get in those doors, but I am so, so thankful. I'm thankful for my husband that he got me there. Holy cow. It was the best. It was the best experience. One of the best experiences of my entire life. It was, it was so amazing. And I'm so, so thankful I went. Um, holy cow. So sorry, make up real fast and we'll get back to the story. Um, this looks, I'm actually, I don't know. I'm kind of surprised. This looks really nice. I think that, um, I'm not having a huge issue with the primer I use, which is good. Thank goodness. Um, <laughs> and I, um, I use the concealer, uh, Westman Atelier Vital Skin Care Concealer in Atelier L1. And I wish this was lighter. It's not as light as I want it to be. It kind of matches my skin tone pretty good. I was hoping it'd be a little bit more brightening. But um, I've been testing this out and the coverage is wonderful. I'm going to have to set it with some powder though. Just a little bit of setting powder. Anyways. Um foundation so far so good holy cow well we'll do thoughts on the makeup roundup at the end anyways so i got into the event and it was incredible i met so many other youtube creators and editors and producers for like big names right so the criteria to go turns out was just if you lived close to Boise. I met a lady, uh, a couple who had 3 million subscribers. There was another gentleman who has like close to 600,000, I think. And then there was a, a girl that I got to know that has less than me. So it was like, it didn't matter how many subscribers you had, which is, it was incredible. I, <laughs> it allowed me to not feel so out of place. Cause I mean, I have a tiny channel and I was kind of nervous to go because of how small my channel is, right? So um, that was amazing, incredible. Holy cow, I don't have a powder, a new powder, oh please. <laughs> okay, got a powder. This is, I think my newest one, this is the RMS Beauty Hydra Setting Powder in Light, meh. It's okay, but I've gotta find a new amazing powder because I, the Juban she is ruined forever. Oh, the drama. <laughs> um, anyways, so I met some absolutely incredible, amazing YouTube creators and learned so much. And it was amazing. My husband was really surprised because he kind of, there wasn't, it wasn't like a PowerPoint presentation. It wasn't like anything like that. It was just, um, just go and um, eat amazing food and talk, talk the entire time. I think there was like 25, 30 people there. And all we did the whole time was get to know each other. See, I think it's a little too dark. It just made my under eyes too dark. And I think this is the lightest one. <sighs> so it's not brightening enough and I, I'm not a fan. Just not a huge... And the Givenchy is so much better. And now I've got to find a new one. <laughs> okay. Anyways, so, meh. Oh my goodness. So, Scatterbrand. Can you tell I haven't filmed in a while? Um, 
don't answer that. <laughs> um, so it was the best. And so what we did was um, we went around and uh, like we said our name, what our YouTube channel is, and then something, um, an interesting fact about us, right? So um, I said, you know, Audrey, and uh, I have a beauty makeup channel and I'm a mom of five kids, you know, because I'm pregnant with number six and it just seemed fast and I was very nervous. So I sat down <laughs> and uh, technically a mother of six kids. Um, but it was incredible. It was so wonderful. Not a single person, not a single human being that I met there. Um, I feel like that just picked up my foundation a little bit. Um, not a single person was like, why do you have so many kids? Oh my gosh. Cause I get that a lot. I get that a lot <laughs> uh, in my everyday life. You have so many kids. Why? Why would you have so many kids? Ooh. Um, every single person was like, oh my gosh, you do YouTube and have five kids? Like, you do all of that? It was so amazing. It was the most amazing experience that I can't even, I was, it was amazing. It was so great. I couldn't believe um, how they responded to that. And it was just, it was wonderful. Because when you, I mean, when you're behind the scenes, on the YouTube world, it's a lot, <laughs> it's a lot. I was mentioning that, um, all the editing and thinking of video ideas and all the things, it's a lot. And it was amazing. I met so many absolutely incredible people and I'm super thankful that I went, super, super thankful. And I will go to the next one or if there's any more or anything like that, holy cow. It was amazing. So. There's that. <laughs> um, let's see. That was dang. This is the Dior, uh, the new Dior Forever Skin Contour in 01 Light. Um, I like it. I need to compare it to my Westman Atelier. I don't like the smell. I like cannot get over how scented this is. And the foundation, who like, and I still smell it on my face. It is, it is fragranced fragrance a lot. I have chitty hairs oh, on my face. Um, so yeah, the most amazing experience. And I'm so, so thankful. I really think that I have you guys to thank for that. I mean, when I created my channel, I really had no idea if anybody was going to watch, like seriously, no clue. And then here you guys are and you're watching me and if nobody watched the videos that I put up, I would stop putting up videos. Um, probably. I don't know. It depends. Maybe. It's like, you know, you put videos up for people to watch them. And if no one enjoys what you're putting up, why are you putting up stuff? So there's that. <laughs> um, but I do have people that watch my videos and people who contact me and are checking on me because they know I haven't been uploading recently. And I'm just so thankful. I'm super thankful for you guys. So thank you so much for even opening up that opportunity for me to go meet those YouTubers and be just so, it felt so good to be in a room full of people that understood like, this job, this job that I have that I've created for myself, like, and that's the point. That's why YouTube has those meetups. So you can get to know people who do what you do. And I mean, cause it's, if you don't do it, you don't understand what goes into it. So, so there's that. <laughs> um, that's the new YSL make me blush liquid blush in 37. Hmm. Do I need more on one side? I don't know. 
I was wondering how I was going to feel about this color. No, not this color. I love the color. It's a bright color. Um, no, uh, the formula, because I love the Armani blushes. And I was wondering how this was going to go. So, so far, it's nice. I don't think I like it better. I think the Armani seems a little bit smoother, but I need to do a side by side to see that. Oh, um, I'm feeling better pregnancy wise. Oh, yes, that's what I was going to tell you guys. Holy cow. So August, August was nuts. So I really need to get to trying these products so I can do like a uh, you know, a full, a roundup review for you guys. Cause I have a lot of stuff that I haven't updated you on. Um, but, uh, yeah, I was sick. I was sick for like two weeks. And then my little baby, my, um, Mila, my youngest, she's almost a year old. October 1st, she'll be a year old. It's crazy. Um, but my youngest, she got sick. Like, and she had an ear infection. So she was, she was really sick. So we had to take her to the doctor and we got her some medication and that's rough. Having a sick baby is rough. Um, but we did do that and I don't feel like this is picking up on the brush at all. <laughs> um, I don't like this. Huh. Not a fan. Not fan this is the uh aa01 from refer the alexandra anelli brush i mean, it is kind of picking up looks looks like a uh, my gosh <laughs> um shimmery pink can you see it i don't know this is the new gucci glow highlighter in sunrise gold which was, I think, the best color for my skin tone. but And it does go into that blush really well. It's not like it's <sighs> making a cast or anything crazy that I hate. It's just not really picking up on the brush. And it's not, it's such a, it's a weird formula. It's like very hard pressed formula. So I don't know. So far. Not so good. But my baby was sick. We got her all better. And then I got sick again. <laughs> so, you know, it was... August was a crazy month. It was a lot. And then getting ready for September. And I'm teaching dance. I have three dance classes that I teach and I just... I love it. I love it so much. It's so much fun. It's great. It's really, really great. I got to figure out what makeup I'm going to use next. <laughs> or I could just keep talking. Um, okay. Hourglass Dragon Palette. I did a short using this, but oh my gosh. This is the one that I picked up from this year. Holy cow, I love it so much. Um, I think I'm a little late to the party. If you want to see a dedicated review comparing the other ones I have, let me know down in the comments. But if I'm too late to the game, I understand. Um, but I am going to use the bronzer in here because, yeah, I feel like I need a little, a little bronzer. My blush and highlights going a little wonky. Um, oh, yes, three classes. So I teach one class of four and five-year-olds, and then I teach another class of um, first through like third graders. And then I have another class that is, um, much older, like, what are they? Six through ninth graders. Um, but absolutely love, love it so, so much. If you're new here, I danced from six years old to, um, 19 years old for 13 years. And then I, took a break, had some babies, got divorced. <laughs> um, and then uh, now I teach at the studio I grew up at. So it's amazing. It's wonderful. Full circle, that's for sure. And I love it so much. Oh my gosh. See that bronzer? Mm. It made such a difference. Wow. Wow. This is incredible. I love it so much. 
so good. I don't know why I don't mention the brushes I use. I really should get in the hang of doing that. Um. Next, what are we going to use next? Um, I think since my brows are done, that's what I would do next. I really need to get this foundation off my mouth. Okay, I'm back. Note to self, do not try to talk while um, any shadow primer is sitting on your eyelids because it will set. Duh. I mean, that makes sense. Anyways, my bad. Totally my bad. Unless this is getting old and then I might cry because I need to find a good eyeshadow primer. Anyways, um, so where was I? My daughter, two-year-old, Leela, my little spitfire. If you've seen my video where I did, um, where Michelle did my makeup, Leela was the two-year-old next to me creating havoc the whole time. <laughs> um, but she got one of my Lisa Eldridge, my balm embrace. I mean, they're gold packaging. They're beautiful. Why wouldn't she want to play with it? Um, and uh she completely destroyed the entire bullet she <laughs> rubbed it all over her face and her tummy and it was it was quite the ordeal and you know she got red curves she got the red one so i ordered a new one <laughs> but that was fun gosh two-year-olds they're sneaky man sneaky she's just and she was quiet too i had no idea little quiet sneaky girl okay eyeshadow primer is on it is looking a little flaky maybe my eyelids are just dry yes i mean i really need a new eyeshadow primer though i really really do leave me your favorite eyeshadow primer down in the comments what do you recommend what do you like okay yeah, i really need to get one <laughs> Um, so now we're going to talk about, oops, <laughs> it's magnetic. This, ah, I have not been so excited for a makeup release in a long time. Like this has got me excited again. It's brought back the excitement. <laughs> so this is the Danessa Myricks Beauty Light Work Volume 6 Freedom Palette. Oh my gosh. And I mean... I don't need to show you how it comes apart and it all magnetics because you've seen it. <laughs> um, this is not super new, but it is new for me. And I haven't put them on my eyes yet, but I've swatched every single one. Oh, my goodness. So, oh, it's so beautiful. So pretty. Um, I usually skip the light work palettes from Danessa Myricks. But this year, I don't think we're going to get a mothership from Pat McGrath. I don't think that's happening. I think that Pat McGrath had um, sold her company and the releases have been kind of weird since then. And I bet that they don't make enough money on the motherships. So she just released, not released, but showed the whole holiday collection. I'm going to talk about that in the next video. But I decided to pick this up because this is expensive. <laughs> and today I really want to do um a boring look i want it um surprise i no but i want it i feel like a lot of people look at this palette and they just get scared like i don't wear color so i'm not going to use that and i want to show how i mean oh my gosh these colors are perfect for fall and if you just use one color and then some mattes like i'll show you in a second you could wear it to work i really think you could maybe not you know if you can't wear bright purples to work but eyeshadow I don't know I don't know why you couldn't wear purple eyeshadow to work if it's not too much maybe I don't know could I I when I worked in an office I feel like I could have you know because times have changed <laughs> and as long as I was dressed professionally I could have put a little purple on my eyes nobody would have been upset about it but anyways every workplace is different I want to show you. So I'm going to use this shade right here. And I think it's, I think it's called dance. It is. It's called dance. And I love it so much. Oh my gosh. And I can't wait to use it on my eyes. It's so pretty. I'm probably going to have to layer a couple, but like it's this beautiful, almost icy pink color. And I'm going to make that like the star of the show. See the little mirror goes out of the top. 
um, the star of the show, and then we'll blend some mattes into it. And I mean, it'll be gorgeous, but simple and not super crazy, right? Like, I mean, you could go crazy with this palette. It's got 18 shades and she like, she made them all diff Um, There's nine different formulas and you can layer them and I mean, the possibilities are endless, but you could also keep it simple. You don't have to go crazy with it, which I really hope people understand because I mean, it is, it is kind of, it is a lot. It's daunting, but the formulas are so smooth and gorgeous. And I mean, look at that. That's simple. It's simple and appropriate for every day and gorgeous oh my gosh so i want to go in because i'm not doing anything i'm going to use serenity which is this one right next to dance so right here oh my gosh and i prefer to use my fingers oh, this is a very shifty gorgeous shade um but i prefer to use my fingers with metallics in general but you definitely don't have to especially um with these formulas i don't have a ton of fallout but it is always a good idea if you're gonna go in with more of the deeper colors like the blues and the greens the bright pink <laughs> um to do your eyeshadow first and then your base but i always forget to do that so here we are <gasps> oh look at that it's so pretty okay see look at how pretty all right then we're gonna do oops um my makeup by mario master mattes neutral palette and i mean what else do you need <laughs> a palette full of shimmers and a palette full of mattes like <laughs> that's that's it that's what you need honestly and you probably don't even need a palette full of mattes if you have like that hourglass palette you could use the bronzer and the crease and that's all um my refer 01 we're gonna go into this one right here and i'm just gonna put a little bit of that i love this color in my crease just to give the look a little bit of dimension but i mean you don't have to this is how i've been loving to wear my eyeshadow recently too because like I love my eyeshadow palettes, but recently, like one and done eyeshadows have been super popular. So I use one or two shimmers and then just like one or two mattes and then you're done. And it's fast and I like fast. Um, Let's use a teensy bit of that same color just on the lower lash line oh my gosh i love love this love it love it love it love it love it oh i might need to use a little bit of a lighter color just to kind of to blend it out better you know wow this mirror and this palette this is dirty i need to clean it <laughs> Just a little bit. Oh, I didn't show you guys. See, I just get going and I forgot to show you this one right here. Ooh, <sighs> Just a little bit of it to kind of blend everything out. Blend the edges, the far edges. Hmm. Do I want to make it a little deeper? Yeah. Yeah, I do. I need a smaller brush. Hold, please. What's this one? Refer 02, surprise, surprise. I use the Refer 1 for the first part and then the Refer 2 for just a little bit of deepening. I'm going to use this one right here and just deepen up the outer corner a teensy bit. Make sure I'm still in frame. YouTube award for being in frame of the camera. Oh, yeah, and that's another thing. Man, when I went to, <laughs> um, you know, the YouTube creator event, at this point, I feel like most creators are recording on cameras and I record every single one of my videos on my phone. I upload it 
on my phone. I edit it on my phone. <laughs> Um, I still do all my thumbnails and everything on my phone. I don't have a camera. So I, you know, I almost felt kind of weird about that too. Like, am I a real YouTuber if I don't even, if I don't even use a real camera? So, okay, that's it. Two mats, two shimmers, dunzos. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. And then we'll put some mascara on and it'll be perfect perfect Ooh. but yeah i am super excited about this oops that's backwards is it no oh well super excited about this love this so much seriously i mean if they don't come out with a mothership palette i would pick this up i mean really and i think this is probably a better deal than her <laughs> um Holiday collection, Fabergrass Holiday Collection. I feel like Danessa Myricks is becoming what we want Pat McGrath, the brand, to be. But just my opinion. Okay. Um, let's curl my lashes, because I do that every time. Um, and then we'll use some mascara, you know, and I need I need an eyeliner. So like usually always i go in nope that's green I'm not gonna use green but black so this is my lisa eldridge ground not black brown but <laughs> lisa eldridge ground coffee eyeliner and i'll use it on the top waterline it just i think it makes such a huge difference like um when i curl my lashes it makes it look so much more seamless, right? Like, uh, there's no end to my lashes. Oops. <laughs> I tried to put it on backwards, the cap on backwards. If that makes sense. I think it just adds such a nice little touch. We are going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Exaggerize Volume Mascara. Now, I used it um, for a short recently. So I do want to try it today with my most favorite Dior show maximizer in 4D. And I love this wand. This is such a good product. Holy cow. So we are going to try this with the mascara today. So, you know, without the primer, which is how I used it the very first time to test it. Um, it was good. It was, it was good. I actually think that it is pretty similar to my Givenchy that I've been loving from a more dramatic look. I really need to test them side by side because I mean that Givenchy has become a holy grail but I feel like the Charlotte Tilbury is close close behind so I need to do them side by side that's coming <laughs> um but I love this packaging holy cow but the wand the wand is she's thick she's real thick and she's very curved so i do like a curved lash so let's see what this looks like with my primer on because i feel like oh my gosh the mascara primer makes such a difference i can't believe i went so long without using one because i was like nah i can't make that big of a difference it does it really does Oh, okay. So that's like one coat. One coat all over the lashes. They're so sparse. My lashes, man. But I like it. I really like this mascara. I don't know. I don't know if it's better than my Givenchy or not. You know, it might be... The Givenchy might be... Can you see me? <laughs> The Givenchy might be better for uh, the lower lashes, but I've heard this gets better with age, so, you know, I don't know. How different are mascaras, really, 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 when it comes down to it? Yeah, they're pretty different. I think that... You definitely have to find a good mascara if you have oily eyelids and oily skin. 
but with my dry skin, I'm like, <laughs> it really doesn't make a huge difference mascara wise, which ones I use. So, you know, there's that. <laughs> oh my gosh. See, look at how dainty this eyeshadow is. Like, and I use the Vanessa Myers Lightwork palette. You don't have to go crazy. But you can. I can't wait to use it more. I love it so much. It makes me super excited to do my makeup, which is really awesome. Because so I have so much makeup, you know, you know that if you're super excited about it, it's a big deal. <laughs> um, this is, ooh, there is, ow, mascara in my eye. Oh my gosh, whole place. <laughs> okay, that was, that was painful. My eye's watering now. So if you see any watering of the eye, that's <laughs> what's up. Um, it's like, it's too clumpy. It's really, really clumpy. I feel like I need to pair it with the Givenchy. <laughs> Because this wand, I love this wand. It's so dusty. Let me use it more. Um, the Givenchy has this rubber wand, and I love this wand. And it really does a good job of separating, but it's like extra black. I love this mascara. So maybe they together would be wonderful because this is very clumping, very um, volumizing, not so much lengthening. That was probably really loud in the camera. Okay. <laughs> Eyes are done Just lips and then I think we're good. Um, the only new-ish lip product that I still have that I've been testing is the Fenty Lip Liner and the Fenty Balm Stick. I love the stick. Um, I don't know if this is going to go today. How about we not use this? This is the Traced Out Pencil Lip Liner in Satin Panty. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I want to use that one. I think I just want to use maybe a little bit more pink. Ooh, this is 1C. And I think with my kind of pink eyeshadow, maybe 1C would be real cute. Um, from Lisa Eldridge. 1C. They're, they're the best lip liners of all time. Audrey, you can't talk. While you're putting your lip liner on, it just makes a mess. <laughs> Aww. <coughs> I like that. <coughs> oh my goodness. Because it's just, it's a nice pink. It's not too pink, it's a nice pink. This is the Fenty Glow Gloss Balm, which actually might be all right. It's like not pink, more of a beigey. Mm. And I love how these taste and smell. I feel like it's kind of polarizing, though. It is like a spicy peach. I love it. Mm. It is kind of a pinkier lip. I like it. Digging it with the pink eyeshadow ish. <laughs> All right, we got there. We got there. Let's go over my final thoughts. And yeah, so foundation. Ooh, I haven't checked that out since I put it on. Ooh, dude. Okay. Wow. Yeah, I might have to. The color match really really good i may have to figure out which primers work with it dang i was really hoping it would be like mm, no <laughs> that bad i was i mean i just oh water-based and primers and the whole thing makes me very nervous but it looks really good guys really good and i didn't set it with powder i don't usually set my whole face with powder just my under eyes uh, oh, I almost dropped it. 
I don't really like this powder. I don't really like it. It's too dark for my under eyes. And yeah, I don't know, RMS Complexion. I have this to try. I have not tried this yet. This is the RMS Sun Cover Up Super Tint. The SPF 50 Broad Spectrum Sunscreen Skin Tint deal. I haven't tried it yet. I need to try it. But um, so far, wow, this is good. I'm going to keep testing this out. Keep your eyes peeled for an end of the month roundup video. Hopefully, I'll be able to do one in September. Um, starting October. <laughs> um, but yeah, wow. The color match is that good. I gotta, gotta keep testing it. Okay. Um, this is incredible. I love this West Mentelier concealer. <laughs> I love it a lot. I think it's amazing. I wish L1 was lighter. I wish there was a lighter shade because I just, it's a little too dark, but the undertone's good. I just wish it was a teensy bit brighter. Maybe. You know what? I'm going to try it with a brightener underneath. See if it gives that brightness that I want. But love the formula of this. It looks incredible. So good. This I love. Dior Contour. Um, the formula is great. It blends really well. I love the cool undertone of Light One. But I don't ooh, like the smell. It's so fragrant. I don't like the smell. I wish it didn't have the smell. But I can't really smell it now on my face, so it does dissipate. It's just very strong when you're putting it on. <laughs> um, this is good. I'm going to test it side by side with my Armani, Armani. But my first impression is the Armani's better. I don't know price-wise how much is in here, how much is in those. But yeah, first impression is I like the Armani a little better. But there's that. Packaging is gorgeous. Um, this, not a huge fan of. I, I don't like it. The packaging is cute. It's not weighty though. Like I wish it, I wish it was more weighty for how much it is. Cause I don't remember how much it was, but Gucci is expensive. <laughs> so this is the new highlighter and I'm not, it's so hard pressed. I'm not a huge fan. I'm just, I have other highlighters that I like way more, but you know, the highlighter, this Looks like I could have put it on my eyes. It's very similar to that Tanessa Myrick's eyeshadow that I put on the second one. What's it called? Serenity? Yeah, Serenity from the Tanessa Myrick's palette. So, you know, uh, not worth the money. <laughs> First impression, not worth the money. Um, what else? Oh, Hourglass. Oh my gosh, yes. Um, that was probably loud too. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for the banging. Um, if you have, if they have one that you like, these are worth it. These are incredible. My mother still has her owl one from last year and she uses it every day. I mean, she doesn't have a huge collection like me and she loves it. So if you can find one that you love, 100% worth it. And if you buy on the Hourglass website, you can switch around the packaging. You can't switch around the packaging if you purchase from like Sephora, but you could get like um, the dragon inside with like the lotus covering, you know, the floweries that they have. So, um, yeah, absolutely incredible. I love it so much. Let me know if you want a dedicated video with the hourglass palette. I'd be down for that. I have a few from the previous years I could compare it to. Um, oh my goodness. Uh, this, <laughs> this, I could also do a dedicated video for you if you want. I'm down for that too. I love this so much. I cannot wait to keep creating with it. I feel like it's just, it's going to turn into a staple that sits on my desk that no matter what eyeshadow palette I'm using, I can be like, oh, I can dip into this one, put it in the inner corner. It's going to look so good with everything. I love this so much. I think this is, and oh my gosh, the packaging, so innovative. It's all magnetic. And, you know, you can magnet all of the three come out and you can put more in it. And it's just so good. So good. Let me know down in the comments. Do you have a favorite Danessa Myricks product from the brand? I'm really just kind of dipping my toe into it right now. But that palette is amazing. And I think this is the last new, new, new. And it's good. It's a mascara. Um, I don't remember how much it costs. I just, uh, I need to test it out more. I need to test it out more. 
I need to compare it to my Givenchy because so far Givenchy and Lisa Eldridge are in top runners. So is this going to make it to the top? I don't know. I had high hopes for it, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I really like the Givenchy. Really like it. And they're both glass. They're both really nice glass packaging. So yeah. Okay. Oh my gosh, guys. I filmed my first video back. <laughs> um, I don't even feel like I really need a setting spray. That foundation, that's good. Ooh, it's so good. It's like not getting flaky. It's not getting weird. It looks really good. I don't know anything about longevity, but it looks really nice. But well, most foundations look nice upon first applications. Most of them, not all of them. Because I don't know, that Dior stick foundation I just use. But anyways, <laughs> oh my gosh. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed my chatty video. Oh, stay tuned for my Pat McGrath uh, holiday collection reaction. That's coming next. I don't even know if I'm going to change my shirt, honestly. <laughs> but anyways. If you made it to the end of the video, thank you so much. I love and appreciate you. Give this video a thumbs up if you love videos like this. And I will see you in my next one. Bye. Wow. I haven't done my intro in a month. But it feels like way longer than that. Okay. She destroyed the whole thing, Jade. Leela, she was back here and nobody knew. And it was one of my gold ones that was sitting up here. And I, got, I, were stacked up I bought a new one. Yeah, because she completely oh. screwed. I mean, the whole, the whole oh, stick was gone. Baby. It was Stinker. all over her face.